Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetShoes.com and today we are here at the Huawei booth and we have a new phone with us which is called Huawei Honor 7. This one is coming to India for a price of approximately 20,000 rupees or slightly more. You will have two variants of this phone. One will come with 16 GB internal memory and the other one will come with 64 GB internal memory. However, both of them will have 3 GB of RAM. We have got an octa-core CPU on this device which is from Huawei. It is screen 935 chipset which is the latest chipset and it is pretty powerful and the GPU is also very good. You can play high definition games on this device without any issues. Talking about the build quality and design, the phone has premium build quality. We have got metal at the back but on the top and bottom we have got plastic which looks like metal but it is not metal. But it is nicely designed so that it does not look bad and the overall look and feel of the phone is quite premium because of that. We have got fingerprint sensor over there at the back side 20 megapixel rear camera which is an autofocus camera can record high definition video we have dual true tone led flash over there which will give you good photos in dark room especially in dark scenarios we have the power and sleep key over there which is a metallic button and we have a volume rocker which is also a metallic button and again you have a slight texture to it on the power and sleep key so that you can recognize which button you are pressing at the top you can see that we have a 3.5 mod jack a secondary microphone for noise cancellation we also have IA blaster as well on this phone at the bottom we can see that we have the loudspeaker mesh and a mesh for the microphone and on this side we have another button which is the function button this button right now is configured to launch the camera so in case you keep uh, if you press and hold the button it will launch the camera and you can also configure other things with this button this is a function button as far as sim card connectivity is concerned you can actually open this tray and take a look so here we have the sim card tray which will take a nano sim the other sim is going to be a nano sim again or you can insert a micro memory card so the second sim card slot is actually a hybrid slot so you can either use single sim card into this phone or you can use two sim card as well or you can use single sim card with a micro sd memory card slot so you can expand the storage in that way on the front we can see that we have a nice metallic earpiece below the glass here we have the front camera which is an 8 megapixel camera gives you very good selfies and you also have a soft flash as well we have proximity and embed light sensors at the bottom we have touch capacity buttons which are there within the display and the overall build quality of the phone is pretty good let me just turn off the flash and show you the quality of the device in terms of the build so if we we have turned on the flash and this is how the phone look like we have got metal on the edges over here it is not metal but again looks good over here it is metal so this part is completely metallic and again at the front the front has got white bezel which is looking nice let's take a look over the ui we have already talked about the physical design and build quality in terms of the ui it is running the huawei emotion ui 3.1 this is how the notification toggle actually look like you can go to settings right now from here and let's take a look over the version of android and we have android 5.0 lollipop Again, it is not the latest version, but you can expect the latest version on this one. This is going to be a flagship phone. We have full high definition resolution on this device, which is a 5.2 inch full high definition device. And we have got 3 GB of RAM. This is the processor. Let me just come back and show you some more things related to storage. And we can find out the exact information about the storage here. On the storage front, we have got 16 GB of internal storage. And out of that, 10.46 GB is available. And you have 718 MB of application which are coming pre-installed. Let me just go back and take a look over power saving mode you do have support for power saving as well which is nice let me just come back and show you the application scenario and we will just try to find out the current status of the ram here we have the application manager and here we have running processes out of 3 gb of ram 1.7 gb of ram is free and the moment you take it out of the box especially with a retail device you can get around 2 gb or more as free ram on this phone which is good apart from this if you take a look over the messaging application this is how it looks like you can easily type on this device using this custom keyboard which is coming pre installed this is the swipe keyboard which you have on this one and typing is pretty smooth and responsive however there is no haptic feedback let me just test the camera before we end this video and here we have the rear okay camera loaded with the front camera view open let me take a selfie first of all so the front camera selfie have been taken let me take a photo from the rear camera it supports HDR mode as well in case you are wondering panorama mode is also supported and here we have the phone and I would like to take a photo of my iPhone 6 right now it does have tap to focus and you can also adjust the exposure of the shot like this and I can tap on the screen 
to focus so this is how the rear camera quality look like which is good in terms of the clarity in terms of details and colors are also nicely produced so the rear camera is doing a good job it is a 20 megapixel camera so you can expect much more from it and it does deliver that we have the front camera loaded over there which is looking nice and again the front camera has given good amount of details and the clarity is also good color production is also done nicely i would say so all in all this looks like a pretty good phone the display is also good in terms of viewing angles and the color production is also nice build quality is good but not great they could have given metal part over there as well but they have not done that which is which may be a compromise for some people out there again it does not make much of a difference so this is all we have as far as the quick hands on review you can always configure the fingerprint sensor at the back side to unlock the phone that's it from us thanks for watching this video in case you have any questions and queries for this device you can leave your questions and queries in the comment section below you can like this video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you